hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to talk about how we can get the united kingdom visa without the job offer and i know you all are curious about this and before starting this video if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe my youtube channel and after you watch this video if you like it please give me a big fat thumbs up and after that please share it with your friends and let's start our video now in this video i'll just explain about how you can go to uk without the prior job offer from the uk company or uk industries uh, this is only uh, valid for the students that are studying in the top 50 university that is listed by uk government uk government have provided the list of top 50 university if you are in that university you are lucky and you can watch this full video and i'll explain it all in detail okay now let's move to the laptop screen and here you can see uh, the high potential individual visa it is offered by the uk government to bachelor's master's and phd graduates from some of the world's top universities and it is good news for the Zhejiang university student and i am also in Zhejiang university and uh, in china the other two universities are peking university and Tsinghua university uh, only three universities from china are listed in the uh, list of this high potential individual visa by the uk government and the visa allows the graduate students to stay in the united kingdom and seek the work uh, without the prior work uh, offer from the uk companies or industries and for bachelor's and master's graduates you will get two years of seeking work time that means for two years you will find the job and then after that you can transfer uh, or change your visa from the high potential individual visa to skilled worker visa and similarly for phd graduates you'll get three years of work seeking time and here it's obvious that there is no offer of job required and no you won't need an offer of employment in order to qualify for this visa there aren't any restriction on the kind of the work you can do apart from being employed as the professional sportsman that means only one restriction is that you cannot be any professional sportsman or like a sport coach or something uh, related to the professional games but you can do different type of uh, job like self-employed job and everything else uh, you can earn money and you can live in united kingdom and the scheme is also open to the students of all nationalities as long as you have been graduated from an eligible university in the past five years that means the eligible university are the Zhejiang university Tsinghua university and peking university in china and there are other 47 university out in all around the world and what are the conditions here few other conditions that you'll need to satisfy in order to qualify for hbi visa and that is you must pass a security check and you need to be fluent in the english language to at least uh, up to the b1 level and you have to have maintenance funds of at least of 1270 pound and you can bring the dependent that is family members with you to the uk but you'll need to so that you can financially support them while you are in uk and what can you do on the high potential individual visa that is the most important thing and if you are staying in uk on hpi visa you won't need to have secure job offer you can seek work while on the visa and i have already mentioned that and you can work uh, uh, in any kind of job apart from this professional sportsman you can do the volunteering job or you can be the self-employed person you can do your online job or anything you can do youtube or anything and you can travel abroad and return back to uk uh, within the period that is allowed in this visa that is two years for the bachelor's and master's and three years for the phd and <clears throat> you can check your family obviously and for that if you have a partner or a children they can also apply to join you in the uk as dependent if they are eligible 
and there's more information on who qualifies as a dependent on the government website and it says that you can take the your partner either it is spouse or not spouse means either you are married to her or not you can take her uh, if it if she is your girlfriend of if he is your boyfriend you can take him or her uh, to uk but you need to have genuine relationship of at least two years that's what they say uh, in in their site but you will not be able to apply for most public funds while staying in the uk on this visa but you will obviously transfer to skilled visa afterwards you get the job right and here what are the universities which are eligible for the high potential visa scheme many of the world's top ranked university are eligible for the hpi visa rule and the list of the eligible institutions includes universities that have appeared in top 50 of two or more of the most prominent ranking system there are three ranking systems which uh, one is time higher uh, times higher education world university ranking and other is qs world ranking university rankings and the third one is the academic ranking of world universities and in three uh, ranking systems i if the university is ranked in under 50 that is like within the 50 top 50 in uh, any of the two uh, ranking systems then you uh, the university is eligible for this uh, hpi visa and uh, according to this criteria the um, uk government has selected the universities and it is uh, listed in its official website and i'll show you the list of this university here let me show you um, if you go to this link i'll just provide it in the description box also here you can see that mm, let's go here high potential individual visa global university list that is 2022 which is uh done between one that is the first november 2022 and 31st october 2023 here this is the latest ranking uh done by the uk government and they selected these university and it is in the alphabetical order and you can just see it you can pause it and see your university name here i'll just do it uh, quickly and uh, Chachang University is in the last because uh, it starts with the uh, alphabet Z that's why it is in the last and these are the top 50 university which are selected and listed by the UK government for the HPI visa and let's move to the presentation again here now how to apply for the high potential individual visa the first step is when applying for a HPI visa, uh, the you need to do is to confirm your qualification is valid. That is, you are uh, graduated from the listed university or not, and um, UK uh, government and the university, uh, the, the visa center and ev everything will be cross-checked. And you can do this by applying uh, to ECTIS the UK organization responsible for a recognition of qualification this cost around 210 pound and if you are applying from outside the UK and 252 pound is uh, for the people living inside the uh, UK and uh, you'll also need to provide a valid passport and proof of your English proficiency um uh, that is the second uh, requirement and if you are applying for hpi visa from outside the uk the application process is online and when you pr uh, prove uh, your identity you'll either visit a visa application center to get a biometric resident permit or you scan the passport identity document using uk immigration id check mobile app and once you have finished the process you'll normally hear back within the uh, three weeks of period and that's really easy to apply for the SPI visa and uh, there's uh, one thing uh, if you are already in UK to switch from one of the following visas these are graduate route visa short-term student visa and parents of the child student visa visit visa seasonal worker visa and domestic workers in a private household visa immigration bill these all visa can be switched to SPI visa 
uh, but for that you'll first need to leave the uk and then apply for abroad apply from the abroad countries uh, that means back from your home and what are the costs and fees that you will be charged for hpi visa uh, there are several costs and fees associated with uh, HPI visa and this includes 210 pound for your ethics application and uh, 715 pound for the application fee and a healthcare surcharge of 624 pound per year you need to re re recharge uh, i mean like you, you need to reapply and repay every year and the uk government has announced that the visa application fee for hpi are set to increase to 822 pounds from october 4 2023 that means it's already increased and you'll also need to show that you have at least 1270 pound in savings um, as well as additional financial support for any members uh, who are accompanying with you to uk will be added uh, because this is only for a person, only for one one person, uh, 1,270 pound. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed and got some information about HPI visa. And if you are already in top five, top 50 university uh, listed by this uh, UK government, then you are really lucky to um, uh, apply for HPI visa and if you are not in this university i hope you will directly get the working visa or you can uh, get uh, admitted uh, in the university in uk uh, if you are wishing or willing to uh, go to uk for your further study or for your employment and thank you um, if you like this video please like uh, my video and share it with your friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.